hello this is about conjugated uh, verbs um, in the future in Spanish actually the future in Spanish is the easiest tense it is easier than the present the reason is that in the future you only have one group of endings so remember in the present you have different endings for the verbs in are different endings for the verbs in er and different endings for the verbs in ir uh, but in the future all these verbs would have the same ending so the verb amar the verb comer and the verb vivir would have the same endings in the future uh, another thing to note here is that it's very easy to remember what these endings are because they are based on the on the verb haber the only thing you have to remember is that the second plural is different so let's go and have a look cantar uh, what uh, now let's look at cantar and this conjugation in the future so i will take cantar the my infinitive as it is i will take the infinitive and add this a where do i get the, the a from from uh, a bear so cantar and the, the ending a will give me cantare cant r and as will give me cantaras cant r and a will give me cantara then cantaremos here notice it's cantares if we follow this this rule in a perfect way it, was, it should have been cantarabes but it's not yeah it's cantares and then cantaran so um again look here i basically have not a basically i do have the verb haber but without the h without the h except from this second plural everywhere else all i have to do is i write haber without the h and that's it that's my future